Hey, what's going on? Happy 4th of July. How's everybody doing today? This is uh, probably the first year, the night before the 4th, I haven't heard fireworks. You know, I'd say the past. Out of the past seven years, I've only been home uh, once for the 4th. You know, I've been stuck out on the road every year. Uh, usually I'm in a highly populated area or driving through in the middle of the night and I can see the fireworks or something. But last night I was up on Donner and Nyack, so it was quiet. I slept like a baby. <laughs> um, but heads up guys, the, uh, the police, they are out there. The Smoky Bears, yeah. I saw a truck get pulled over right behind me, um, headed down from the summit of Donner towards the Nevada side yesterday. Um, he must have been going, I'm guessing, six, seven over. I was going, I think, 48 miles an hour. Um, you know, they're looking for dr uh, drunk drivers. It's a holiday, but it's also just safety, DOT, everything. Um, you know, so, man, they were out in force. I probably saw six or seven speed traps. Um, so there was a several going to, towards Nevada and then I hit the DC, picked up a load and I was going back and they were going both ways. Um, you know, but yeah, going downhill, if I'm in those, uh, those older trucks, like the 2017s with the manuals and stuff, you know, the engine brakes on those are not as strong as these newer trucks. Um, if I'm 80,000 pounds, you know, 79, whatever. If I'm on a steep grade, six percent or more, I'm probably doing 47, 48 miles an hour. Um, that's where the gears will hold my speed without using the brakes. I don't like using brakes. Um, for, for me, brakes are for emergencies. You know, basically just to uh, you know keep your speed in check here and there. They're not supposed to be um, there to slow me down or. Um, that sounds funny, huh? Uh, I hope you get what I'm saying, you know. I like to rely on the engine, engine brakes. Um, that way my brakes stay cool. You know, if I need them, they're going to be ready to ready to go. Uh, these newer trucks, you know, these automatics, man, these engine brakes hold really well. I was headed over there um, probably 40,000 pounds yesterday. Pretty light, maybe 45 um, pallets. So, I mean, I was still just, I still going 48 miles an hour, just at least on the super steep spots. As soon as it kind of tapers off a little bit, I'll run it up to 50, 52. Um, but at that point, it's not even necessarily about where the truck's good at holding the weight. It's, well, it is. It's uh, for that gear and the RPM range, it'll hold me just perfectly. I'd rather be doing that then my next um, option would be probably closer to 60 miles an hour. It would hold just fine at 60, like, you know, I don't have to use my brakes, but now I'm, I'm speeding, right? Um, so I'd rather take the, the other option under 50. Um, you know, it keeps me out of trouble. Uh, anyways, on a different note, I spoke to um, a, new, a brand new driver. He just did... Uh, onboarding on the East Coast and I was talking to him about his experience and I wanted to see if things were different from the last time I went through it you know a year and a half ago uh, he said things are you know structured the same but um, seemed like a little easier they're, they're going a little softer on the pre-trip um, but he also said that DC that they were still looking to hire, like, I think it was like 120 or 160 drivers, 160 drivers. That's crazy. Um, so maybe they're just a little lax on, in that particular onboarding group. I'm not sure. Um, if anybody just went through onboarding on the West Coast, like Red Bluff, uh, or even, you know, the middle of the country area, um, I'd love to, uh, you know, have a phone call with you and kind of just ask you about that kind of want to see if i if it's the same all across the country or if it's just a, those um areas where they're in high need uh and then i can report back to you guys i don't really want to get 
too involved with the information until I kind of have um, more information to see if it's accurate for everybody. I don't want to tell you guys uh, this is how it's going now and then you get there, you're blindsided, you're underprepared, you're not ready. Um, so like I said, if anybody just went through onboarding uh, West Coast or Central United States, let's say in the past uh, month or two, that'd be great. Um, email me, um, maybe we can have a phone call for like 10, 15 minutes or something. Um, I appreciate it. All right, you guys be safe out there on the 4th. And uh, if you're sleeping in the truck tonight, get some earplugs. All right, see ya.